This is a related race problem that's fairly popular in textbooks. Uh, it has to do with the shadow. So let's, let's start. A light pole is 10 feet tall and I'm 6 feet tall. When I'm x feet away from the pole, how long is my shadow? So this is just an algebra problem trying to set up, set up our story. So let's draw a light pole. So here we are, a light pole. It's making light. And here I am as a person. And it says I am ten. I'm six feet tall, so I am six feet tall. And the light is ten feet tall. And it says I'm standing x feet away, so this distance is x feet. And if I imagine my shadow, my shadow. It's going to be on the ground, and the thing is, the shadow is formed, if I could draw a straight line, uh, the shadow is formed by the light passing me. And so my head should really be way up here, and so this is the length of my shadow. And so let's see, uh, let's identify some variables. So we have variables in our problem we have two variables. I have x, which is the distance I stand from the light, distance from the light, and s is the length of my shadow. So let's label that now. Let's see, here's x and here is s. All right, I am trying to figure out how long is my shadow and the thing is I need an equation to be able to solve for it. And so I look for some principles that will help me and the principle that helps is the principle of similar triangles. There are two triangles in this problem. There is a big problem formed by the light. So let's label the light here. And that triangle has a height given by the 10 feet from the, tri from the lamp pole. And the base is the sum of both me standing and the length of my shadow. The second triangle is a shorter triangle. It has me as a person standing, and so its height is 6, and the shadow forms the entire base. And so the principle of similar triangles allows me to create ratios, that the height 10 is to the base x plus s, that ratio has to equal the height 6 to its base s. And so if I cross multiply this, see I get a new equation that says 10s equals 6 times x plus s. So this is the equation of uh, that relates my quantities. Okay, so let's find out uh, how long my shadow is. If I'm x feet away, how long is my shadow? That means I need to solve for s. So let's see, 10s equals 6x plus 6s, so 4s equals 6x, and so the length of my shadow is 6 over 4x or 3 halves x. Okay, so that answers the first question. The second question says, if I am 10 feet away from the pole, well, let's translate that, 10 feet away from the pole means x equals 10. And I'm walking away at a rate of 2 feet per second. So let's see, that's a rate of change. My distance is changing. So dx dt is moving away. Does that make it greater or smaller? Moving away makes x bigger. So I have a positive rate of change of 2. 
So x is 10 feet. My rate of change is 2 feet per second. And I'm interested in what is the rate of change of my shadow length. So the question is, what is ds dt? Well, <clears throat> we could use our formula that we've just found, or we could use an earlier equation. And I think it's actually easiest to use the rate equation coming from 4s equals 6s. So if I take a derivative with respect to time of my equation, 4s equals the rate of change of 6x, I get 4 ds dt, length rate of change of my shadow, is 6 times the rate of change of my walking. And so I can solve my rate of change, ds dt, is 3 halves how fast I'm walking. And notice that my distance away from the light didn't matter. It's 3 halves times 2. So my shadow is growing at a rate of 3 feet per second.